about why why do we why do we leave Google? Because I, I would believe like so it's actually in the image that time, right? The cost of training a very good state of art image that model was five millions in 2012 or 2014 ish. But with a couple of years, with like five years, the cost of training such a model reduced to fifty dollars, ten dollars. Wow. Because of the uh, innovation algorithms, cheaper hardware all contribute to this. Because a lot of cost for training a state of the art model is just the research. Yeah, it failed a hundred times or ten thousand times. And here you have the experiments. Yeah. But once you already reach that level, like at that time it was like superhuman image classification capability. It's just like today we are seeing AGI or superhuman cognitive activities. Um, it's the same thing, right? So we, we, at the beginning, we need to invest so much to make sure to achieve superhuman capabilities. But after this criteria has met, then we can productionize it. We can make it an yes. industry. Yeah, we can have impact. Yeah, we can make, like, make sure everyone can use them. Yes. And I think that's um, the same applied to GPT or large language models. So the GPT-5 is much smaller model than GPT-4.5, mm -hmm. like 10 times smaller. And I'm not saying like the scaling nodes stop to work. I'm saying that in order to reproduce the capability of GPT-5 or GPT-4, which should be good enough for a lot of tasks, for most tasks, for most tasks, yeah, yeah. Um, the cost of reaching this capability or reproducing this capability would decreasing over time. Yes, yeah, yeah. Through a lot of innovations. Mm -hmm. So I think it became a time to make training of those models a commodity. Exactly. So it's not the model that becomes a commodity. Model already a commodity. Yeah, yeah. Because of the API access, because of Gemini, because of ChatGPT, because of Cloud. Think how many companies are effectively wrappers yes. via APIs of those models, right? Yes, like it is, it's already a commodity.